I was really, really interested in the importance of the writer in this town because I felt that they were being neglected. Uh, they were pushed into the closet. They were almost never allowed on the set because they didn't, producer didn't want them to uh, interfere with the important job of the actors and the director in lousing up the screenplay. And uh, uh, only later did the writers get in the position they are in today, in a sense, where if a writer can sell the screenplay, he can almost always sell his own services as director, which means that management has come to the realization that the creation of the screenplay, when you write a screenplay, you have it in your head. You see it. You see every scene. You have to in order to be able to write it. Therefore, uh, uh, Preston Sturgis said that he did all his directing at the typewriter. And uh, directors today don't really like to hear that. They want the public to believe that the creation, the creative uh, uh, art is the province of the director alone. Far from it. It isn't the writer alone, obviously, but uh, you can't direct a blank piece of paper. And so they are very necessary, and I felt they were being underpaid, overlooked, and so forth. And we were coming again out of the Depression era, and I had seen the labor unions in the United States grow in importance and win certain victories. The Writers Guild itself was established out of that reality, shall we say, and the studios fought tooth and nail to prevent its organization. Uh, they created a rival company union called the Screen Playwrights, and they tried to fire every writer at every studio who was a member of the new Writers Guild. Well, I guess it was called the Screen Writers Guild then. They had a big meeting in New York, and uh, there were accusations of, of communist uh, uh, activity and all of that to try to prevent it. And uh, then Roosevelt was president, and they passed the Wagner Labor Act, and the studios could not prevent a vote, and the vote was 99% for the Writers Guild of America. And they fought that all the way. They wouldn't put it into effect until Pearl Harbor. After Pearl Harbor, and uh, they needed the writer so desperately, and there weren't that many around anymore, they finally recognized the Writers Guild of America. But the minimum salaries uh, were below what they paid the union plumbers at the studio, who may have done better work, I don't know. 